single young lady, some guy wants to take you out, he says, can I take you out? You have to ask yourself, what's your motive? These days when people come to you and say, hey, how you doing? Are you all right? You're like trying to, what's the motive? Why are you talking to me? Because, you know, church folks, can hide behind the church and not let you know what the real deal is. And that's why I say, single people, if you're dating somebody, you need to ask a thousand questions during the dating process. You don't need to be sitting up there talking about, well, I go to church and I talk in tongues, and a big plus is I'm a member of World Change. Oh, praise the Lord, I done found my husband. You might have found the devil. Now, hold up a minute, girl. You need to ask some questions. Y'all need to sit down and go on a whole lot of dates. Uh, what's your name? Is that your real name? Do you have your daddy's name? When can I meet your daddy? Is your dad and mama together? How do you act when you get mad? Do you throw things? Do you cuss around? Do you beat up on people? I need to know, do you have a job? Where do you work at? How much money do you make? How long you been working there? Do you have a bank account? How is your credit? Can I see your credit score? Do you have a house? Are you living in an apartment? Do you pay for your gas in your car? Do you live with your mom and them? I need to understand what you're doing. What you like to eat? Do you plan on being fine like that all your life? Or you plan on getting big? How many children do you want to have? Will you get upset if we don't have no kids? You plan on having an inheritance? Do you have insurance? Can you pay for your funeral if you were to die today? You need to know who you marry. And don't you dare get married to somebody talking about, I've never seen him angry since I met him. It is not time to marry that person. You need to see how he, how he looks. And you need to ask that woman, how you look without your makeup? Don't put none on tomorrow. I need to see. The hat you got on your head, is that yours or did you purchase it? And if you purchase it, is it paid for or are you in debt? I need to know. When you blink your eyes, are those your eyelashes or, or did you buy those from somewhere? I need to know. You smell good today, but what about tomorrow morning? I need to know. Do you believe in taking showers at night or in the morning? Do you believe in taking three days off and then take shower? How is your relationship with soap and water? I need to know. What's your motive? <laughs> All that time I love him and I'm ready to get married to him. You don't even know him. <laughs> ask him questions. I mean, in these days, ask all kinds. When you going to marry somebody, ask some of the questions. I know the big elephant in the room. Ask the question, uh, are you attracted to men or women? <laughs> are you trying to marry me because you're trying to hide something? I know you look manly, but what, 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 what is it? What, what you doing in the booth, in the back, in the corner, in the dark? Flip Wilson, I got to tell you, I need to know. Did your daddy commit adultery? Did his daddy commit adultery? Because I don't know if this thing, you know, got a part three in it, and I don't want to be no part of it. You asked a bunch of questions. Don't ever talk about you ain't got nothing to talk about. And don't wait till him or her starts the conversation. You start it. Sit down. How you doing today? All right. Psh, pull the questions out. Let's go. <laughs> Some people get married and the marriages don't even have a chance. Because we rush in and want to get married. So you, you dreaming too much. You've been looking at, like, they got this new movie. What's the movie out there? They, they, they say it's real big. A lot of people have been reading the books. You know, don't act like y'all don't know. Y'all know. What is it? What is it? Fifty shades of, of, uh, of gray. Y'all know it. Y'all know it be bringing ropes home, trying to get your husband to do stuff to you. You better leave all that alone. You better go to the Bible and find out how the Bible tells you. You better leave all that stuff alone. Me and hurt somebody. I told Taffy, don't come in here with no rope. We ain't doing all that. Ain't nobody tying nobody up. We ain't getting no whips. And you ain't going to be spanking me with no object. That ain't going to happen to me. <laughs> uh-uh. No. Better, better put your rope back up somewhere. All right, let's get back in the spirit. What's wrong with y'all? 
And I see I done messed with somebody. Now, what, what is going on? Oh, my gosh. So let's look at Matthew chapter 20. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his holy name.